time to move on to the local script. Now, what do we want to do in the local? Well, imagine how cool it would be if across our screen, there were like wind effects going shh to really make us feel like we're going fast when we're sprinting. So there are multiple ways to do this, but the way I choose to do it is to use a screen GUI and then just animate and move it around. So in starter GUI, I'm going to create an image label and then in toolbox, go to images and search speed lines. Now, of course, link in the description again, credit to this amazing person who made our lives so much easy and for the amazing speed line visual effects. Thank you. So I copy the asset ID and then I paste it to our image. And of course I want the image background to be one. And I also want to set it to the center of our screen by setting it to anchor point to 0.5. So the center of the image is now the center of the image and setting its position to halfway across our screen and the X axis and the Y axis. Now I wanted to cover the full size of our screen by setting its scale to one and its scale to one. Perfect. Send its offset back to zero. And now our screen is fully covered. Okay, time for the animation. Right, well, not time for it, but like thinking about it. The first animation I want to do is just maybe allow it to go outwards to create the illusion that the wind is flying past us, right? So maybe three would be good enough just for the outward appearance. So let's get into this. First, of course, we get our image label, which we cleverly named speed lines. Holy, my laptop is like 3000 degrees right now. If I suddenly crash, you all know why. Then in Sprint, if Sprint is true, we want the speed lines to be visible. By the way, don't forget to set their visibility to false. So if Sprint line is true, we want the speed lines to be visible. If it's false, meaning we deactivate Sprint, we want the speed lines to be not visible, which is false. So we can simply just set the speed lines that visibility equals to the sprint. So we activate sprint, it's visible, we deactivate sprint, it's invisible. And if we're sprinting, then we can go ahead and create a loop. Because we want to constantly tween and animate this wind effect as long as we're sprinting, right? So the second we stop sprinting, we want to stop the loop. But how do we know when we're sprinting or not? Well, now we got to create a variable called sprinting. So sprinting is exactly what it sounds like. If we're sprinting, then we're sprinting. And we can set sprinting to sprint, right? But don't also don't forget to set sprinting to false here when we stop moving. Because if we're still holding on to the sprint key, but we're still but we're not moving and obviously we're not sprinting. So the second sprinting becomes false, we break this loop. So now let's tween it. Let's tween our speed lines by going fanmod.tween speed lines. What do we want to tween? The size to a uding two dot new three comma zero comma three comma zero. And don't forget to put all of this in squiggly brackets. Yeah, that's about all we're tweening. And how fast do we want it to tween? Let's say 0.3 seconds, so really fast. Now we've tweened its size. Is that 30? Yo. So now we've tweened its size, but we haven't reset its size. So now it's three, but nothing else happens. So let's set its size right here to create an effective loop. And its original size, of course, was 1, 1, 0. Pretty nice. Let's go ahead and test this. I activate the skill. I sprint. And oh my god, I crashed because I forgot one crucial thing. And that crucial thing was to wait for the tween to be over before we moved on to the loop. So without our wait, we just infinitely moved across this. And of course we can go tween like this or we can go this dot stopped dot completed colon wait. So now it tweens it and then it waits for the tween to be completed before it moves on to the next iteration of the loop. Activate the skill. 
I'm sprinting and as you can see I have a cool animation but I'm gonna be honest when I say it's a little bit imposing like if I was sprinting I saw this I would think there was danger like something was about to eat me what is happening so how about we make it less imposing and obvious by setting its transparency lower I want the transparency to be one and as then as we move out it slowly goes back to its real transparency so image transparency by the way and then it starts and an image transparency of one. So let's see how that looks. So I activate the skill. And if you notice, it's less imposing. It looks a little nicer, but it's still pretty imposing, I got to admit. So how about instead of going all the way to zero, we go to something like 0.93, not specific at all. Let's see how it looks. And that's just a number I liked from testing. Remember to also test and see what number fits well for you. So I activate the skill. And it is barely visible. I activate the skill. And I'm sprinting, I'm sprinting. It is barely visible, it looks nice. But if you notice, it feels like it's just the same image played over and over. But we don't want that. We want that to be kind of diverse. So how about we try changing its rotation just a little bit. So changing the rotation just a little bit, like maybe to a random number so it looks kind of randomized but not too much because then that creates like adverse effects we do not want to deal with so anything from five to anything from negative five to five let's try that speed so math that random negative five comma five pretty nice another thing if you noticed when we stopped moving because we didn't activate spring, it didn't make the speed line visible, which is an, which is kind of a glitch I didn't quite notice before. So you know what? How about I actually send sprint? So now I'm doing some unexpected things. So when we stop moving, we just send sprint to false. This way we can send sprint equals this, and also now server script. We don't need to change it when we stop moving anymore because it automatically sends us to stop, right? I'm just gonna quickly test it to make sure it actually works. Now this is a bit uncertain, even I don't know if it works or not. So I activate it, I'm sprinting, then I stop moving. Sprinting, then I stop. Oh my God, it actually looks, works way better. And while we're error solving, my bad, something I forgot in the last video is right here. Attempt an index nil, table with nil. I was probably very, very cocky and say it should never have given us nil. Well, it did give us nil. So what we want to do is make sure the direction actually exists. I don't know how it gives nil, but somehow. So if our direction exists, we should stop getting that error. Okay, back to our effects. So I actually forgot to look at what the effects look like. So now I'm going to test again. I activate the skill. I'm moving and I test it. Oh my God. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It's barely visible, but the artistic nature brings tears to my angelic eye. Anyways, <laughs> that looks really, really nice actually. How about we try and make it slightly better? Let's have some fun. So what if we could make it dynamic? So the faster we are, the darker the wind and the more like it feels like you're moving fast. So you can really feel the speed. How'd we do that? Well, first we need to get the speed so we can know how fast we actually are. And we can do this by simply going local speed. You know, actually, just cause you guys have done an amazing job making it all the way here. We're gonna do a little cheatsies. Just copy and paste where we get the broomstick and copy and paste how we get the speed. Don't tell anyone I showed you this, wink, wink. And then now we have the speed. So what's the idea? 
Well, the idea is the closer the speed is to the max speed, 400, the closer we want our transparency to be to 0 0.93. If our speed is like 200, we want this to be 0 0.96 in transparency. How do we do this? Well, we can create a percentage of the like speed. So our real speed divided by 400. Now we have our percentage. If it's 200, then we know we're 50% to max speed and so on. Now we have that value. What we can do is multiply it by the maximum amount we want to subtract. So 0 0.7 times set percentage. And then we just subtract that. by one. Let's recap to understand what's happening. So if the if the player is at max speed, then it's one, 400 divided by 401 times 0 0.07, which is 0 0.07 minus one. And then it just changes it, making some for some dynamic wind. So I activate, so I put it in. Let's test this and see if it creates the effect we really want. Also, comment down below what type of things would you like to see me make next. Be creative. I really love making skills, and I would teach you how to make any skill in existence. Just name it. So now let's test it to see if it really does create that dynamic wind. So control. Oh, it definitely gets darker. Let's see. It's barely visible, and then as we get faster, it gets really, really dark. It looks so much better in first person. It's like, wow, the wind is real. Amazing. How about we do something else now? Let's do something really cool, like messing with the camera. If you guys play RPGs or any type of video games, you notice as when you move faster, you suddenly, your screen just tweens outward. And when you come back to regular, it goes back to regular. Let's try and create this effect. Well, the second we start speeding, I want to create a tween that tweens our camera field of view to the original field of view. So let's get the original field of view. And the original field of view, of course, is just our current camera's field of view. So it tweens our field of view to original field of view plus Let's be greedy here, five. And it does it really quick, 0 0.3 seconds. And then when we're done sprinting, then it tweens our camera's field of view back to our original field of view. And it also takes 0 0.3 seconds. Let's go ahead and test this. And I start sprinting. As you can see, it immediately tweens me. Then I stop sprinting, backing. It's barely noticeable, but it has such an effect. Okay, I have a bizarre idea. You know how when we tween the speed, we go slow, then when we hit 300, we stop there for a couple seconds. A couple seconds, we stop there for a couple milliseconds. A couple dozen milliseconds, I, I don't know, okay? And then after a few little bits, we now exponentially zoom up to our max speed. How about doing that zooming up? That's when we speed. Change our cameras, zoom out, just to get that extra feel of speed. Let's try it. So I'm going to spawn function because I'm going to loop waiting until our speed that value exceeds 300. And the second it exceeds 300, then we tween the camera outwards. Perfect. But if our player stops sprinting before we reach for 300 speed, so we don't just create another loop and just break our stuff, how about we return so we do nothing? Be careful not to press a break because if we break, then it would just tween it anyways. So let's try that now. And I sprint. And then if you notice, the second I hit that moment to accelerate, it zoomed me out, creating an even better effect. And when I stop, it zooms me in. Perfection. After testing for a while, you may have come across a bug where 
your field of view does not go back to normal but instead increases as you spam control if you're wondering i'm clicking at the speed of 0 0.01 seconds <laughs> I'm, I'm semi kidding am i though like i didn't even move okay as you can see my field of view is like 100 right now which is not what we want and when it goes back to normal 95 wasn't what it originally was so why isn't doing this why is it excessively increasing our field of view well let's understand the code deeper so when we hit 300 speed it increases our field of view and then when we stop sprinting it tweens it back down but what if in that 0.3 seconds so it's tweening it it's currently 75 it's 74 in that 0.3 seconds before it tweens it back to 70 a player activates the activates sprint again so now our original field of view would be set to 74 and then this tween will be set to 74 and even though this tween might may be completed back to 70 when we hit 300 speed again it would be our original tween our original field of view which is 74 now plus 5 79 which is which makes it higher than it should be so what's happening well, it's simply because we're interrupting this tween. So, how can we fix this then? Local tween out. Well, it's simple really. If this tween is plain, then we just wait for it to be done before we set the original field of view. So, if tween out. If it is plain, how about instead of just waiting? For it to be completed to create that feeling of instantaneously how about we create a new tween which is just this very same tween but much much quicker so now we wait for the new tween to be done playing so if let's say it's 0.3 seconds the player clicks again in that 0.3 seconds because they're just a w chat it creates a new one that only lasts 0.1 seconds wait for it to tween us back to the original field of view and then sets the original field of view to what our camera's field of view currently is make sense i hope it does i'm sprinting oh my god what happened attempt to index nil with playback state well first of course we must check if the tween exists so if tween out exists then we continue if tween out and if not tween out then we just stop i apologize if my tutorials may be a little confusing at first it's because i'm still very new to this but i thank you for being patient with me and still watching it all to the end i really appreciate every single one of you guys thank you so i activate the skill and then of course i keep again have the zoom out open so I press control, it zooms on my screen, I, I click at the speed of, oh my god, why am I laggy? I click at the speed of one fractile of a second, and it does not increase my thingy. Oh, how does it increase it though? Our technique actually worked, but... There were two underlying problems. Okay, we solved the first one. The second one will reveal itself once we print looping. Now it's 0 0.3 right now. Just so you all can notice it more, I'll set it to one. Every one second while we're sprinting, it should print looping. Nothing faster and nothing slower. I activate the skill. And as I'm moving, it's printing it perfectly. Still printing, but if I were to spam, all of a sudden it isn't it isn't so pretty anymore. It's like moving at the speed of two hundred billion, and that's the reason why we're laggy, and that's also the reason why it wasn't why the tween wasn't originally working. So I know some of you may be confused, as it literally took me two days of staring at this code to actually figure out what was happening. So what exactly is happening? First, we must dissect everything and truly, deeply understand it. What is repeat, really? Repeat is just while, true, do, 
if whatever is here sprinting equals false then return then break and then everything under here is everything yeah it's just this pretty much but what exactly is happening then like why does it break well let's go through it so it repeats it sets its default thingies then it tweens then wait for it it waits one second and then checks if sprinting is false if it's not then it repeats the loop but there's a problem with this if sprinting becomes false while it's waiting up here so sprinting becomes false and by the time it's done waiting sprinting is true again it checks if sprinting is false but sprinting is true but what it doesn't know is sprinting was false before which makes it create another loop but then this is where it starts to get trippy and that loop wait for it that loop then tweens the speed line visual effects right but as you know only one thing can tween one thing at a time so the previous one gets cancelled and because it gets cancelled its wait time is literally a fractal of a second which leads to us spamming this loop but what does that also which is not good but what does that also have to do with our camera not working well because sprinting was never as was never set to be false it never s needed not only did it not tween our camera back to normal it never set tween out to this so it couldn't wait for it it just moved on which absolutely bugged out so how do we fix this well by moving everything into here and then deleting all of this and of course I could leave tween out right here but might as well just put it right here so it's instantaneous too we moved it in but it's literally the exact same thing but with more code we wait for sprint to be false if it is then we break and then we wait for the tween to be completed and then we go check again if it's sprinting but we want to like check sprint if sprinting is false in every wait loop right we want it to be independent of the tween and as we all know if we put something in the spawn function then it becomes independent then this runs at the same time but then that just makes it keep spawning the function all right so even though this tween is still playing it creates a new tween and a new tween and a new tween which doesn't fix our problem but makes it way 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 worse so how can we fix this well if we're currently tweening then then continue and then we don't want to continue with this line of code we want to skip over to the next iteration we don't want to create a spawn function so let's create a variable called tweening outside of the while await and if we're tweening so the second we enter here tweening equals true or the second we start the tween tweening equals true and the second we stop the tween tweening equals false now it shouldn't skip over this anymore and it should actually properly get it now i'm gonna print looping just so we can see it in action and recall before when we spammed it almost it's the second time we sprinted it was printing like a thousand times every second or maybe not that much but you got the point so let's activate the skill control I press it at the speed of one fractal and as you can see it works perfectly fine hey it's future me after a lot of testing I found an error that if I clicked extremely fast then the whole thing would kind of break a little again but that was very, 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 very rare. And you need to be purposely trying to break the like sprint for that to happen or just be butting mashing at the speed of light. And after a lot of trying and testing for hours and hours, I couldn't find a way to fix it. I couldn't even figure out what was wrong. So I just left it because of how rare the glitch was. And even when the glitch does happen, it's barely noticeable. So yes. And oh yeah, one thing that's been annoying me is the screen. It shows us like it blackens us as we do it before it actually activates its tween. Just set its image transparency to one. 
yeah I guess that's it for today. Dang, no, 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 no. Where are you guys going? Why are you in such a rush to leave? No, I don't want to. I don't like that. No, I'm kidding. But you see, I'm not done with you guys for today because I have a bonus just for my lovely viewers who stuck to the end. Thank you so much. What is this bonus? Let's do something bizarre. <laughs>